It's time for another week of Inside the Huddle here on TXA 21. I'm Bill Jones along with my co-host for this week, Jay Ratliff, the Pro Bowl nose tackle of the Dallas Cowboys. We welcome you to Inside the Huddle here on TXA 21, and you can be a part of the live studio audience right here at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas as we tape the show each and every Monday night. One week it's Jay, the co-host. The next week it's Deshard Choice, the co-host. Just so happens we're taping this show the day after the Denver game. Have you recovered from the Denver game? It was a physical game on Sunday. Uh, it was a physical game. Um, I have recovered pretty well, but just, you know, mentally it's just time to move forward to the next game. It is it is time to move forward, and as we talked about a couple of weeks ago with Jay here, after a Cowboy loss, you don't listen to the radio whatsoever the day after, right? So uh, there's no radio listening for you today, right? <laughs> yeah, you're pretty sure. Um, we, we, we're going to get ripped, and, that, and that's just the way it goes in the media. Uh, you, you win, they love you, and you lose, they you get ripped. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody here at the House of Blues just loves Jay Ratliff. And our special guest on this week's show, Andre Girard, the Cowboys three-time Pro Bowl center. And uh, you know Andre Girard pretty well yeah, now, the don't you? All-World Center. Yeah. All-World yeah. Center, yes. And he calls you the All-World Nose Tackle, all right? right? He's mine. <laughs> We're going to talk uh, not only football, but life away from football with Andre Girard and Jay Ratliff here on Inside the Huddle, as we always do. Jay, you ready to go Inside the Huddle? I'm ready to go. All right. We're headed Inside the Huddle. And now we have moved inside the huddle, although it doesn't seem like a football huddle. Instead, we're inside the restaurant here at the House of Blues. Again, you can be a part of the live studio audience each and every Monday night. And, uh, Jay, there's no better way to spend a Monday night. Of course, the uh, fans here, people in the studio audience can watch Monday night football after they watch inside the huddle as well. You can't think of a better way to spend a Monday night, right? Not at all. This, yeah. promises, this also promises to be a very loud and rambunctious crowd tonight yeah. and you know why don't you no because miss price is in the house tonight <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so right off the bat we say hi to miss price and you'll be able to How hear her. there she is right How there you doing? <laughs> <laughs> love you too <laughs> <laughs> and i talked to miss price before the show tonight oh. And I think she specifically made it a point to come out on this Monday night because you needed the love on this Monday night after what happened in Denver Sunday. Yeah, yeah. We, we do need a little bit of love right now. <laughs> after, she says after they cheated us on Sunday. <laughs> but uh, how do you handle it? Uh, you know, there's a 24-hour rule mm -hmm. that's in effect in NFL locker rooms all across the league. Whether you win on Sunday or whether you lose on Sunday, mm -hmm. It's that 24-hour rule. Now, that doesn't apply to us tonight because we have to talk about what happened on Sunday yeah. uh, regardless. But how does the team as a whole handle it, uh, whether it's a victory or a loss on Sunday? Just learn from the mistakes we made and, um, and just try to put it behind us. That's all we can do. I mean, there's still a lot of football left. It's a marathon season. And um, we can't move forward looking back, you know? We, we mentioned off the top about Andre Girard, your special guest tonight, a guy that you butt heads with in practice time and time again. Every day. Is there anything that, uh, as we set this up, that you can say about Andre Girard that uh, hasn't been said before? Something about Andre that uh, is, whether it's on the field or off the field, that people need to know about this man we're about to introduce them to? On the field, he's probably the dirtiest player <laughs> in the league. <laughs> the, uh, thank you, thank you. The dirtiest player in the world. And off the field, I don't know, I guess. I guess he likes. He's the nicest. No, no, no. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's, he's, I think he just likes things that are tight. You know, tight clothes, tight cars. You know, some about big man and small cars. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, Andre's laughing over there, so he he will have a chance to say some things about Jay Ratliff as we get going here. Plus, we're going to talk about a number of things. In fact, here on Inside the Huddle. It's a scary thought, but we're actually going to go inside the mouth of Jay Ratliff at some point during tonight's wow. show. I'll tell you about that as we continue on Inside the Huddle here on TXA 21 and 1360 AM here at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas.
Closed captioning for Inside the Huddle provided by Grand Marnier. Share genuine moments with Grand Marnier. This segment of Inside the Huddle is brought to you by Home Marketing Services, HMS, helping the homeless one renter at a time, and Toyota of Irving. And we welcome you back to Inside the Huddle here on TXA 21. want to remind you that one of our proud sponsors, the good folks at Earth Motors, Tashard Choice is here every other week, and I understand Tashard Choice has just bought a new vehicle from Earth Motors, and we are very proud to have Earth Motors as a sponsor of Inside the Huddle. As this week, Jay Ratliff is my co-host, and we have a very special guest, and Jay Ratliff is very familiar with him. And I, In fact, I'm going to have Jay introduce Andre Girard the best way you, you can. What do you know that uh, you can tell the folks about Andre Girard as we give him a huge Inside the Huddle welcome here? He is probably the dirtiest, <laughs> nastiest, same time most physical, most physical um, center in the league, and uh, you know Andre Girard. All right, Andre Girard, <laughs> welcome to Inside the Huddle. Th thank you for having me. It it's an honor to be here at the Jay Ratliff and Tashar Choice Show, and I'm glad I <laughs> I'm glad that I got my invitation to make it because usually these guys will go on without inviting me, but you know what? I'm glad I'm here. This is a very special privilege for you because yes. this is the, you know, the first show that Jay did, it was Jay and Tashard here. So oh, wow. you were the first man out of that locker room that wow. Jay himself invited to be on his own I, show. I he's the all-world center, all-universe, <laughs> all-galaxy, all-everything. I'm it's, just it's another Andre. guy. I, I practice against Jay Rattler every day. I tell everybody that's what gets me better. So. If I'm, if I'm that good as Jay says, it's because he does all the work. Well, not only Jay says that he's all world, all galaxy, <laughs> all, all universe, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Just, you think of but it, he's all he is that. a three-time Pro Bowler. Andre Girard, the last three years, has uh, made the Pro Bowl. Now in his eighth year with the Cowboys. In fact, Andre Girard in 2002 out of Colorado was a, sec a second-round draft pick of the Cowboys. And I don't even know if you're aware of this, Andre. That is the highest pick that the Cowboys have used on an offensive lineman since 1981. Wow. That's what they oh, fought at you when they drafted you. <laughs> Actually, I had no idea about that. Um, yeah, wait till we get back to the locker room. Uh, I know uh, you're going to talk about that when we get back to I'm the locker room. I'm going straight to Colombo. <laughs> <laughs> we do have uh, Chad and Bethany Packard from Apple Orthodontics here. And I want to, and, and Apple Orthodontics is a great sponsor of Inside the Huddle. Mm -hmm. And a little known fact about Jay Ratliff, because you can't see them when, you even, when he smiles, you can't see them. He's wearing braces. Yeah, and absolutely. You, and you have the braces that are actually on the inside of your yeah, teeth. Yeah, Explain. Yeah. I wanted braces, but I, I didn't. I didn't want to have that, you know, kind of geeky look. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now I wore braces as a as a well, teenager, well, so, I, and I, I definitely I, had the geeky look. Well, I didn't want that, and then the other <laughs> you reason you didn't is, want to look like me. Well, okay. yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and the other reason um, it's a position I play. Uh, there will be a lot of contact, and I didn't want to risk like you know, cutting my mouth up. Um, I, I've seen a lot of guys who had braces playing football and. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes their lip was just hanging off their face. I didn't want that either. But um, they had they they came up with a great idea to just put the braces behind my teeth, and um, that that's been working out beautifully. It's a very unique concept. Now, when did you get the braces put on? Uh, whew. Recently, like two right? days before training camp. Yeah. Two days before yeah. training camp. Yeah. And no problem with them whatsoever during None camp. None at all. I, I was worried at first, but once I got going, I was like, oh, this is, this is all right. And, it's been good ever since. And Andre doesn't affect his speech at all, does it? N not at all. <laughs> well, you wouldn't know the first couple of days of camp, I didn't say a word. Yeah, he was, he was very quiet those first couple of days of camp. Yeah. <laughs> Andre, did you ever wear braces? Actually, I wore Invisaligns. Okay. And um, just finished up my last uh, tray with those guys, but yeah, I used to wear braces. I wore braces all last year. Well, that's inside the mouth of Jay Radley. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that wasn't so bad, was no, it? No, that wasn't bad. bad. And again, we thank the good folks at Apple Orthodontics. Now, we're going to get into how the, how just how physical training camp practices can be and even practices during the season. When Andre Girard goes up against Jay Ratliff, that's still to come here on Inside the Huddle from the House of Blues and here on TXA 21. 
This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Carter Eye Center, the official LASIK surgery center of the Dallas Cowboys, and Earth Motor Cars, world-class pre-owned vehicles at down-to-earth prices. This segment of Inside the Huddle is brought to you by Apple Vacations, America's favorite vacation company, and Occidental Hotels and Resorts, raising the bar for all-inclusive vacations. And we welcome you back here to Inside the Huddle at the House of Blues. Again, you can be a part of the live studio audience. We've got a lively bunch here tonight, and we've got Jay Ratliff and Andre Girard, our special guest uh, Andre, this week. All world. Hey, Andre, uh, all world, all galaxy. And, and Jay Thank Ratliff, you. the best yeah, nose awesome. tackle in the universe. Anyways. Ratliff. Best you nose tackle in the universe. In the, no, it's not. That's not. Yeah. That's a universe. Can't do that. Best nose tackle in the universe and an all-galaxy center right here. And when you have a, a center, you know, that, that dominant, um, you know, and physical and, and crafty, that's what I, it's, it's, you can call it dirty football, but it's crafty because, you know, it's, it's legal. It's, but um, it, it, it's definitely, you know, made me better. Um, when, when, when I go against other centers, it, it's, it's nothing like going against so him. So what, in what ways can a center be crafty? Yeah, please explain. Oh, uh, please. All right. I, I would like to know the dirty things that you say that I do. I, I don't. I mean, he did, there's no tripping involved. Yeah, see, there you go. No, there, there's no, there is no tripping. <laughs> okay. Uh, there, oh, there, there's oh, one thing God. that any nose tackle or defensive tackle who's ever played Andre, I guarantee they want to fight him. All of them. All of them. <laughs> he has this thing. Before he even snaps the ball, he put his hand on your forehead. Now that you, it might not, yeah, it might not sound like much, but it, it's like you like the little brother, and he has his hand on your forehead, and you just swing like this at him. <laughs> so like before you can really get moving. So he hadn't centered the ball yet. And yeah, he, yeah, it's, he's it's reaching like, across the line of scrimmage and has yeah, his hand and, on, such, and the officials never see that. They 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 haven't called it yet. <laughs> like now in, in the games, you know, I, I hope they don't. When we play against somebody else, I hope they never uh -huh. call it. <laughs> yeah, he is a teacher anyway. But uh, in, in the game, I hope they never call him. But in, in, in practice, it, I, I, it drives you crazy. And then he had, all right, I shouldn't say this, but he has this other thing where, like, you know, we, after a game, you're kind of tired and, and you're going against each other. And you're going about, like, 75 85%. You're not going full speed. He'd be like, hey, man, uh, I am a little sore today, so, you know. This Bring it down a little bit. So I'm just like, this will be true. So yeah. first like, part's all right, not true. All right, all right true. I got you. I got you. Next thing you know, he comes off 110 miles an hour. <laughs> Boom, slam you on the ground like, oh! <laughs> I didn't do this. <laughs> no. Like, and, and then, like, and, and here's the kicker. And, and, I mean, it burns me up. It, it really burns me up. He'll come to you at the end of practice while you're in the locker room. And he'll be like, hey, um, <laughs> On that one plate, what, what happened to you? Did you slip and fall? <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> like, it, it really burns you up. Uh, All right, Andre, now, equal time. The first thing I don't know about it, that being true. The second part, yeah, that is very truthful. The I, I, have, is true. I have done it to him a couple of times, just, you know, just to play with, joke around, you know, some, some excitement in practice. So there was a time where we were sore and, I was supposed to, you know, go past Jay to get to the linebacker. He wound up just jumping in front of me. So because I was going at that speed, mm -hmm. I wound up hitting him. And I think he tripped and fell. And I may have fell on him. <laughs> 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 but I, I definitely didn't do anything to push him to the ground or anything. Maybe. Hey. I don't remember. But maybe a little push. But I was just trying to get up off the ground to get to the linebacker. And, and here's the other thing about him. that You, you can't beat him. You, if you beat him and pass for us, oh, man, you know, uh, I, I was a little tired, and I, I just, <laughs> you got me. I just let you have it. You beat him in run block, and I'm talking about to the point where you, you get him and, and slam him on his back, and, like, if I slam him on his back, I'm going to let him know I slam him on his back. I'm going to stand over him. I'm going to push him back down to the ground. I'm going to do something to him be, be, just because it's him. He'll say something like, uh, man, I, I was just tired then, and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and my feet got caught up, and, you know, I tripped over Colombo. Colombo's a tackle. How are you way over there? <laughs> like, that, that's the kind of excuses he come up with. <laughs> no, that's not true. Half the time, <laughs> half the time, if I get beat, you know, I get beat. But there are times where Jay does cheat, and I try to explain to him, hey, Jay, you know, you can't cross the line of scrimmage 
when the ball is still on the ground. Like, I was not snapping the ball yet. <laughs> so you're making a play in the backfield. I'm just looking at him like, Jay, you're not going to make that play. It's not going to happen. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I'm going off your hand. If your uh, hand shoots out, I'm moving. He's got but a pretty good But if I don't it. move, I mean, I can move my hand around all I want to as long as the ball doesn't move. The ball's moving, too. No, the ball's not moving yes, at all. Yes, it is. You're jumping off sides. All right, you got it, man. All right, Andre Girard, Jay Ratliff here on Inside the Huddle, and we've got one more segment to go here from the House of Blues and on TXA 21. We're going to talk with Andre and Jay about a very surprising thing when we come back. This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Sports Connection, your number one stop for Dallas Cowboys ticket packages and sports-related travel, and Lux Audio. This segment of Inside the Huddle is brought to you by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's and all-natural Snapple. The best stuff on earth just got better. Our very special night continues here inside the huddle at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Again, next Monday night, you can be a part of the live studio audience. I'm Bill Jones along with Jay Ratliff, and our special guest is Andre Girard. We've talked about Earth Motors. We've talked about Apple Orthodontics, and we're talking about Papa John's as well, yes. another proud sponsor yes. of Inside the Huddle, and Andre just can't wait to talk about Papa oh. John's. And why is that? Are you hungry? Besides Look being, besides yeah, being hungry, I, I'm a big guy. I love to eat. Besides being hungry, there's this one commercial that Papa John's came out with where there are a few of my teammates in a commercial. Uh, I think there was Martellus Bennett, uh, your other co-host, Tashar Choice, and there was a, a Jay Ratliff brushing a blonde wig and a chili in an outfit. And I saw the commercial, and I never got a chance to bring it up, so I'm very happy for this. How... how what size skirt did you wear in that? Well, day? I didn't have one of skirt. <laughs> <laughs> and, no. and where did you get the wig from? I mean, did you choose blonde instead of brunette? I mean, did you have a no, choice it, of that? Yeah, it was actually selected for me. Oh, okay. I didn't have one of skirt, by the way. <laughs> All right, right after this show here on TXA 21, the Cowboys are taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, Sunday noon, what does this team need to do to get back on track? Uh, start with you, Andre. Um, we need to take care of the ball, not turn it over, and just no mental errors. If we can go play a clean game, we'll have a great game against the Kansas City Chiefs. How about you, Jake? Number one is always stopping the run. Uh, and Larry Johnson on that team. Yeah. Yeah, stopping the run, uh, making them one-dimensional, and, um, and and just capitalize on opportunities. You know, um, um, interceptions or fumbles or you know anything. We we need to try to just get turnovers. All right, that does it for this edition of Inside the Huddle. Andre, we want to thank you for joining us. Thank you us. very much for being for finally inviting me, Jay. Thank you. No. Final, finally, you're finally. the first guest of the year. Yeah, for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Jay, we'll do it again uh, with you in a couple of weeks here. Right. The House of Blues, Deshard Choice, will be here next week. I understand Sam Hurd might be his uh, special wow. guest next week. We shall see. And for all the folks here at Sports Media, including Ray Salinas, we thank you very much for joining us here at the House of Blues and on TXA 21. And we'll see you again next week right here at 1130 on TXA 21 for Inside the Huddle and also on 1360 AM. Sponsors of Inside the Huddle include Home Marketing Services, HMS, helping the homeless one renter at a time, the Carter Eye Center, official LASIK surgery center of the Dallas Cowboys, Earth Motor Cars, world-class pre-owned vehicles at down-to-earth prices, Occidental Hotels and Resorts, and Apple Vacations, Sports Connection, your number one stop for Dallas Cowboys ticket packages and sports-related travel. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's, all natural Snapple, the best stuff on earth just got better. Toyota of Irving, and Lux Audio. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location Monday nights at House of Blues in Victory Park. Log on to InsideTheHuddle.com for filming dates and showtimes. Video production services provided by Gridiron Films. Tune in next week and go Inside the Huddle, a production of Sports Media Incorporated.